You may have heard of the Iron Triangle of Project Management. Scope, cost, quality. You can't have all three, so choose only two. That means that if the scope is large and the cost is cheap, then it probably won't be very good. If the scope is large and the quality standard is high, then it will be expensive. If you deliver it to a high quality standard but cheaply, then it can only have a very small scope. Scope, cost, quality. You can only pick two. In agile software development, we have an answer to this question, and the answer is the agile premise. We always want the best quality. We never want to compromise on quality. That's a lever we pick to stay in place. Cost, which is the same as time if you're paying people by the hour or by the day, is a lever we manipulate through the scrum process by doing short sprints on a fixed timeline. That's it. We don't plan too far ahead. We don't plan out three, six, or 12 months in advance. Instead, we work a little bit blind to long-term considerations and focus only on the immediate future of the next sprint or maybe the sprint after. And that leaves us with scope. Scope is the only lever left, and it's the only thing we can do at sprint planning. And what we do is we carefully decide what a reasonable amount of scope is for one sprint's worth of work. So in essence, when we're doing Agile Scrum, we never really talk about quality or about time because quality is fixed because we always want the best quality. And time is easy, it's just one sprint, either a week or two weeks or whatever your team uses for one sprint. So we don't need to discuss those things. We only discuss scope. If you're in a business that's writing software planning out too far in advance, or your boss wants to dictate the time and also dictate the scope, that's not an agile process. In fact, it's waterfall. And you probably aren't using Scrum the way it was intended to be used. So again, just worry about scope and work sprint by sprint on the highest priority needs.